So this is a 2016 uh, Mini Cooper Clubman coming in for check engine light. There's the fault code. Micro leak. Now, just a little history. This car has gone to the dealership twice now, but it's been there before for the same issue, the micro leak. Uh, NDLD, uh, a little pump has been replaced. Came back on, they took it back and had the, the DME programmed, the light came back on. So it was asked, you know, do me a favor. Can you try to figure it out? So there's the switch. I plugged it. So by, you know, removing the filter, the liner had to come off. Tire, liner, tire, liner, fuel sender. And then what I did is this is uh, just a nylon line. This is the uh, input to the purge valve. Then you got a whole mess of, of routings. But anyway, I'm in here. There's definitely a leak. BMW Mini Cooper, they want zero leaks on their cars. So that's a leak. I found the leak. So, and I could smell it as well before I even pulled the car apart. Uh, the gas cap had been replaced, not by me, but it's really hard to see. And you're probably not gonna see much of it uh, as it's actively leaking. Um, I'm trying to angle this light where you can kind of see it. It's tiny, but take a look as you, as you note all these lines, and if we we're just looking for an anomaly, which is what I was looking for, look at the moisture right here on this hose. Now I haven't touched anything, so I'm gonna try to get this. You see that bubbling? And this is what they call it's like a corrugated line. But you see the little the movement back there. That's where the leak is. Now this nylon line goes up to the filler neck and goes down into the tank. It goes all the way through. So here's the tank has got to come down. Or we're gonna be looking for some way to uh, to bypass this section. Um, or seal it, crimp it, I don't know. But there's your micro leak on your Mini Cooper. So if you can see in the mirror, the hose is shaped. Now, the whole tank has to come down for this repair. I'm gonna heat up probably a screwdriver. I'm gonna melt that closed and retest it. So, we're good. I don't have a leak in this anymore. I'm gonna show you what I did because it just doesn't make sense to, uh, to replace this hose. It's a lot of work. Let me get my mirror in there, you can see. So if you see the white, I melted it together. Torch, I heated up my little screwdriver. I just melted it closed, so we're good. As you can see, there is no leak. That's the way the BMW wants it. So I'm gonna insulate that area of the hose so we don't get a repeat, but that's a fix right there.